Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of the Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I want to thank you for coming to my channel. From all over the world, and every day, day after day after day, you come to watch my videos. I'm so thankful and so grateful and so humbled for your attention. Thank you very much. Today I just have four items in the news, and I'm not going to show you any of them because they're all rather lengthy. The first one is called Uncensored. The FISA bill is dead now. It's a Tucker Carlson um, op-ed, I guess you could call it, where he talks about the FISA bill that they're trying to get renewed. And as we all know, or as we should know, uh, they've committed over 278,000 illegal searches of Americans using the FISA uh, process. And now Congress is considering renewing it, and the Republicans are supporting it. So there is no one in our government, or very few in our government, that are looking out for us. There's very few of them that, are, that even seem concerned that the government is spying us on us without warrants, even though the Constitution clearly states you can't do that. The second one is uh, Blaze TV exposes how DC politicians get filthy rich. This is an hour-long uh, news story or documentary, mini-documentary if you want to call it that, about how D.C. politicians get rich by trading on what's called insider trading. They have information about stocks that are going to go up or down before the general public like you and I have it, and they trade on that, and that's how they get rich. If you've ever thought about it, you, the most I think they get paid in, in the house is $235,000 a year. That's the most. And then in the Senate, I think it's a little bit more than that. But how do they become millionaires when they're politicians their entire lives? How do they get so rich? Well, the way they do it is by insider trading. And they're not supposed to do it. Their own ethics rules say they're not supposed to do it. But they do it anyway. And I'm sure it's like this all over the world. The third thing I have is an article talking about flooding in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. There was a reservoir that was built in 27, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. There was a reservoir built in 2017 to create a source for water to uh, irrigate uh, agricultural lands. And unfortunately, a part of its wall of the dam gave way. And now there's a huge amount of flooding in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. And it's really created a lot of hardship. And this article shows you pictures taken by NASA, NASA um, satellites showing you how widespread the flooding is. And you can imagine what kind of a, a mess that is and a tragedy it is. And Dimash has gotten involved. I have a YouTube video of him at the flood site on the 10th and 11th of this of this month, April. And he is uh, donating money to the cause, and he's there on the ground helping. So uh, all of you dears, I'm sure, will be happy to see that. That's my news for today. And as you know, or as you should know if you've been around me at all, you know that I pray for you every time I make a video. I pray that you will have an abundant life and that you'll live a long time and that you'll be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do all of those things for everyone that you love as well. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.